In this video, we're going to show you how to create a backup schedule that uses five different destinations and runs five days a week. On the left side, we go to Scripts, and we click on Add, and we're going to give our script a name of Five Day Rotation. You can call your backup script anything you'd like. We're going to select Backup as the script type, and then click Add. We then go to Sources, and we have to tell Retrospect what disks we'd like to back up. We can go to Smart Tags if we'd like, and we can select All Clients, All Local Disks, or All Network Shares, such as a NAS device. In this case, we're going to select the internal hard drive, and then we're going to go over to Media Sets, where you specify the destination for the backup script. I previously created five destinations for the sake of time. Now you can create your own destinations just by going to Media Sets and then clicking the plus button and then giving your media set a name and clicking Add. That will automatically create a new media set for the list. We then can return to Scripts and then we need to check the ones we'd like to use. We go to Rules and under Rules we can specify the types of files we'd like to back up. In this case, we're going to do all files except cache files. We go to Schedule, and then we go to Plus. And under the Schedule, we can configure Retrospect to run and use specific media sets on specific days of the week. In this case, it defaulted to Wednesday, so we just uncheck Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and it will then use this Wednesday media set every week on Wednesday. Our backup action is no media action. That's also what we used to call a normal media action or a normal script. Normal just copies of files that are new or changed since the previous backup operation. We can also skip to a new member, which will ask for a new disk, even if the previous disk is not full. We can start a new media set if we'd like to take our old media off site or we can do a recycle which erases your previous backup and starts all over again. We're going to use the no media action because we will just want Retrospect to copy the files that are new or changed since the previous backups. We've already got Wednesday set to go at 10 p.m. We're going to go ahead and click on the plus and we're going to add Monday and we uncheck all the other days of the week and then we click plus and we're going to go ahead and we're going to select Tuesday uncheck all the other days of the week then we click plus again And we've already got Wednesday, so we're going to go and do Thursday. Uncheck every day except for Thursday. And then we're going to go to Plus, and we'll go ahead and specify Friday. Now we've got a backup schedule that runs to five different destinations, one for each day of the week doing a no media action, so it just copies the files that are new or changed since the previous operation. Okay, We can go to Options and we can turn on Data Compression in Software in order to make sure that we get the maximum capacity out of our backup media. If we want to run the backup script right now, we can just click on Run. Otherwise, if we go to Activities, the Activities will show us all of our backup schedules going forward. So we have one for today, tomorrow, and then one for every day of the week. And we can see that it changes to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on. 